Hi. Hello. The end. <laughs> Completely forgot everything. <laughs> I, I think that's it. Oh, no. Hi, this story is about Tessa. Her vo virtual session for Mr. G's history course will begin shortly. As Tessa looks at her syllabus, she notices the following. Week four, library instruction. Hmm, Tessa didn't give it too much thought. She knows where the library is. She really enjoys browsing through the bestseller section. The class starts with Mr. G in his usually neon tie. He makes a few announcements and reminds everyone that the class research paper will be due the second week of December. Remember students, I will need several academic sources, including a primary source for your research paper. We have a special guest today, a librarian who will speak to you about finding sources for your paper. Tessa thinks that the librarian, a short haired brunette wearing a t-shirt that reads librarians rock, looks friendly and enthusiastic. The librarian shows the main library webpage and brags about the wonderful team behind it to make it super user friendly. The librarian shows how to locate books, ebooks, streaming video, and primary sources. She has also shown the class an easy way to filter. Tessa is fascinated. The librarian wraps up the session by mentioning that the library staff is always eager to help via phone, chat, email, or in person. When class ends, Tessa quickly visits the South Texas College Library to use a computer. She starts with the library page. Using the skill of filtering, she locates several items that are of interest to her and puts several books on hold to pick up at the SCC library near her. Wow, super easy. Tessa sighs. <sighs> she feels confident that she'll have just the right sources for her paper. Next time I know I need something, I know I can depend on the library. So go, be like Tessa, visit our library webpage or visit the STC closest to you. Story is about Tessa. Tessa is taking a class with Mr. G. As she looks through the syllabus, she finds out that on week four, she will have a library instruction session. Tessa is not familiar with what this might mean, but Mr. G informs the class while wearing a neon tie that they will have an assignment in which they will need to have several sources, including a primary source. And a librarian will be presenting to the class on how the library can assist during the library instruction session. When the library instruction session begins, Tessa notices that the librarian is wearing a shirt that says, Libraries Rock, and begins to show the class how they can use the library resources to find primary sources as well as other sources to help them with their research. Through this session, Tessa is able to discover the tool of filtering to be able to find a primary resource for her assignment. Tessa thinks, oh, this is so easy and is able to put together her assignment. Uh, Tessa realizes the library is a very helpful resource to help her become successful in her classes. The end. Hello. Tessa is a student who's gonna have an online instruction with Professor G. She is scheduled to go ahead and have this instruction online and she has to find primary sources in order to complete her assignment. She believes that this assignment will be pretty hard 
since she's never used these resources before. The librarian starts the online instruction, showing them how to go ahead and use the resources in order to find the articles that they need or the primary resources that they need to go ahead and use. He goes online, shows the different databases, and shows them by filtering how they can go ahead and limit their, their subject in order to find the main resource that they need for their assignment. After the instruction is done, Tessa finds out that it wasn't that hard in order to go ahead and look up the articles that you really needed. So in the end, the library was successful in teaching Tessa how to go ahead and use the resources in order for her to go ahead and complete her assignment that was given by Professor G. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so we've got Tessa and she's a student at the college and she's going to be having an online instruction in her class with Mr. G, who, um, or Professor G, who uh, requested the instruction session and she's a little worried about the assignment. She thinks it's going to be hard because Professor G has asked her to find primary sources and um, she's not sure how to do that. And so um, when she gets to the instruction session, uh, the librarian, um, the, <laughs> the librarian starts demonstrating library resources and goes to the databases list and shows the class how to filter the databases by subject to find the subject for Mr. G's class. And then from there, um, the librarian helped figure out um, how to find articles and other resources that Tessa and her classmates are all going to need for this assignment. So um, by the end of the session, uh, Tessa is much relieved that it's not as hard as she thought it was to use the library and find primary sources and she feels invigorated about her assignment and um, so the library was very successful and the librarian had a great class. And so um, she left the class, uh, the student left the class with everything they needed to get their assignment done and to do well in school. <laughs> I, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> So there's a student named Tessa who was in Professor G's or Mr. G's class. And she was nervous because Mr. G was going to have an online instruction course and she needed to do an assignment that was dealing with primary resources and she had no idea um, about primary resources. But she went to the class and the librarian was there to give the instructional lesson and went to the databases and showed her how to filter by subject, by primary resources <laughs> um, to help <laughs> Uh, with the assignment that Professor G had given the students. And so once the librarian was able to discuss everything that was needed for their assignment in the instruction lesson, Tessa, is that her name? Tessa <laughs> felt more comfortable and relieved and was excited to do her assignment because she was even more prepared than ever to complete it and get an awesome grade. Yes, I think that's everything. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so the story starts with a student named Tessa 
who is needing to do a research paper for Mr. G's class, and she needed primary sources. Yeah, and so she went to the library to get some help, and the librarian who was there uh, showed her how to use the library databases and how to look up, um, oh no, I forgot everything, um, how to look up primary sources and how to look for helpful materials to help her in her research paper, and she felt way more at ease having got the help from the librarian, from a librarian or library orientation. Kind of forgot to mention that earlier, but okay. And uh, yeah, she got the help she needed. She felt a lot better and more positive about the experience, and she was able to find all the sources that she needed. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, hi everyone, uh, to the second episode of uh, A Call of That Number, a telephone game, where six coworkers uh, gather to tell a library-themed story and run it through the game of telephone, and it's a perfect game, no story derails whatsoever, it's perfect, and I want to thank my panelists or volunteers, Anna Nauman, Elizabeth uh, Hollenbeck, Terry Rosales, Isaac Garza, and we also have Jose uh, Noriega. Uh, he's not able to join us this time around, but uh, we've already decided that he's going he's gonna to read or write the next story as a punishment. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, I don't know if if you all want, want to plug anything here, like what we, we do, with the, what's maybe what your role is again, or if you don't just want to take a couple of maybe moments to complain about the story <laughs> that you received. Uh, I'm I don't know about that... complaints, but it was definitely different being in the middle of the um, lineup going first last time was so nice <laughs> in a way. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm yeah, glad I'll... we're switching it up. Yeah, I was on the polar end last time we did this. I wrote it, and this time I was the last one to uh, uh, last one to retell it. And that was not by design. I actually took a uh, one of my like forty or fifty six sided dice, and I think this one was cursed because it put me last. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had a I was traumatized recording mine because I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, it felt like it lasted only like 30 seconds, but when I went back and plugged it into Premiere Pro, it was somehow a minute and 45. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what you said. Um, mm, and, mm. I know, I, I know the main character story stuck because our, she was in it. That's it. <laughs> Funny. Uh, well, let's watch. I'm, I I want right. to see. <laughs> all right, well, let me go ahead and share my screen and let's see. All right, you should see the YouTube page pop up now. Um, give me just a second. Uh, I'm going to play just a couple of seconds of it and just let me know if uh, you have any trouble with the audio. Hi, this story is about Tessa. Were you able to hear it? Loud and clear. Okay, sounds good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and maximize and get it going. Her vo virtual session for Mr. G's history course will begin shortly. As Tessa looks at her syllabus, she notices the following. Week four, library instruction. Hmm, Tessa didn't give it too much thought. She knows where the library is, she really enjoys browsing through the bestseller section. The class starts with Mr. G in his usually neon tie. 
He makes a few announcements and reminds everyone that the class research paper will be due the second week of December. Remember students, I will need several academic sources, including a primary source for your research paper. We have a special guest today, the librarian who will speak to you about finding sources for your paper. Tessa thinks that the librarian, a short haired brunette wearing a t-shirt that reads, librarians rock, looks friendly and enthusiastic. The librarian shows the main library webpage and brags about the wonderful tea behind it to make it super user friendly. The librarian shows how to locate books, ebooks, streaming video, and primary sources. She has also shown the class an easy way to filter. Tessa is fascinated. The librarian wraps up the session by mentioning that the library staff is always eager to help via phone, chat, email, or in person. When class ends, Tessa quickly visits the South Texas College Library to use a computer. She starts with the library page. Using the skill of filtering, she locates several items that are of interest to her and puts several books on hold to pick up at the SCC library near her. Wow, super easy. Tessa sighs. <sighs> she feels confident that she'll have just the right sources for her paper. Next time I know I need something, I know I can depend on the library. So go, be like Tessa, visit our library webpage or visit the STC closest to you. So. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, I hope I you're don't enjoying know, my story. I don't know what story I got. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say I came into this like super confident and then I forgot the story. So, <laughs> but I was confident in the beginning. <laughs> That was, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I don't know if Isaac is complaining <laughs> or if he's just... <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm good. I just... I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I guess let's, let's uh, jump into Isaac's. And let's, let's see what happens. The story is about Tessa. Tessa is taking a class with Mr. G. As she looks through the syllabus, she finds out that on week four, she will have a library instruction session. Tessa is not familiar with what this might mean, but Mr. G informs the class while wearing a neon tie that they will have an assignment in which they will need to have several sources, including a primary source. And a librarian will be presenting to the class on how the library can assist during the library instruction session. Pretty good so far. When the library instruction session begins, Tessa notices that the librarian is wearing a shirt that says, Libraries Rock. And begins to show the class how they can use the library resources to find primary sources as well as other sources to help them with their research. Through this session, Tessa is able to discover the tool of filtering to be able to find a primary resource for her assignment. Tessa thinks, oh, this is so easy, and is able to put together her assignment. Uh, Tessa realizes the library is a very helpful resource to help her become successful in her classes the end. Not a lot of details like the tie. Yeah, yeah, that was actually really good. Yeah. I don't I don't remember a tie. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, there was no tie by the time it got to me. So. <laughs> I think we might be able to figure out where it went wrong. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was, that was pretty spot on for the most part. That wasn't, wasn't as bad as 
your face says it is. Just, I'm just really feel. hoping for, for that the, 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 the beginning and the end of the story was going to be super easy, right? Because, well, Tessa was the main character and, you know, um, the goal be like Tessa, you know? Um, I thought that was going to be super easy to remember. <laughs> Go, be like Tessa. Don't do drugs. <laughs> so let's jump into Jose's and see, see what happens. Hello. Tessa is a student who's going to have an online instruction with Professor G. She is scheduled to go ahead and have this instruction online, and she has to find primary sources in order to complete her assignment. She believes that this assignment will be pretty hard since she's never used these resources before. The librarian starts the online instruction, showing them how to go ahead and use the resources in order to find the articles that they need or the primary resources that they need to go ahead and use. He goes online, shows the different databases, and shows them by filtering how they can go ahead and limit their, their subject in order to find the main resource that they need for their assignment. After the instruction is done, Tessa finds out that it wasn't that hard in order to go ahead and look up the articles that you really needed. So in the end, the library was successful in teaching Tessa how to go ahead and use the resources in order for her to go ahead and complete her assignment that was given by Professor G. Starting to get closer and closer to who might the culprit be. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was really good. Yeah. The threat, the, I mean, there's like a complete narrative still, you know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I think Terry told like a way more coherent story than I did. Because it's <laughs> st st sticking together a lot better. <laughs> uh, all right, so next up we've got Elizabeth. So let's jump into her video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So we've got Tessa and she's a student at the college and she's going to be having an online instruction in her class with Mr. G, who, um, or Professor G, who uh, requested the instruction session. And she's a little worried about the assignment. She thinks it's going to be hard because Professor G has asked her to find primary sources and um, she's not sure how to do that. And so um, when she gets to the instruction session, uh, the librarian, um, the, <laughs> the librarian starts demonstrating library resources and goes to the databases list and shows the class how to filter the databases by subject to find the subject for Mr. G's class. And then from there, um, the librarian helped figure out um, how to find articles and other resources that Tessa and her classmates are all going to need for this assignment. So um, by the end of the session, uh, Tessa is much relieved that it's not as hard as she thought it was to use the library and find primary sources and she feels invigorated about her assignment and um, so the library was very successful and the librarian had a great class. And so um, she left the class, uh, the student left the class with everything they needed to get their assignment done and to do well in school. <laughs> I, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I don't remember if I heard the tie. No. Yeah, the tie is already gone. No, the, the librarian rocks. Librarian oh, rocks. rocks. That's the best part of the story. Right. Because we're hip. <laughs> we're totally those like hello fellow kids. <laughs> and you could you could see like my cat's tail and like the top of her head and she did give a little squeal. <laughs> yeah. For mm -hmm. a second you might have thought that it was a child. 
Go away. Go away. Oh, no. <laughs> right? Well, she was trying to get in my lap, but only went halfway and couldn't decide. And so I was just trying to scoop her in my lap so I could pet her and calm her down. But then she, like, squealed, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay. So I kind of pushed her the other way. And she, like, hopped down. And she gave me this nasty look. So that's why I kind of, like, laughed because I was like, what is going on here? Anyway. Like, yeah, it would have just been really funny just if the cat just jumped on your laptop and like totally just <laughs> screwed it all up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up is Anna. And I'm starting to see, I think maybe it was just the only person that screwed it up what really bad was me. It could have been me. I mean, again, I came in real confident and then I forgot everything. So... <laughs> So there's a student named Tessa who was in Professor G's or Mr. G's class. And she was nervous because Mr. G was going to have an online instruction course and she needed to do an assignment that was dealing with primary resources. And she had no idea um, about primary resources, but she went to the class and the librarian was there to give the instructional lesson and went to the databases and showed her how to filter by subject, by primary resources. <laughs> Um, to help <laughs> um, with the assignment that Professor G had given the students. And so once the librarian was able to discuss everything that was needed for their assignment in the instruction lesson, Tessa, is that her name? Tessa <laughs> felt more comfortable and relieved and was excited to do her assignment because she was even more prepared than ever to complete it and get an awesome grade. Yes, I think that's everything. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel bad because I almost forgot her name. <laughs> the like first thing that they say you know <laughs> but it's so far um you know tessa's made it through so yeah yeah so, so yeah i think maybe it was just me that screwed up <laughs> <laughs> i i did it literally like the second i finished with anna's video and as i was recording it i was also thinking man i sound like an idiot and then i was <laughs> thinking uh Juan and Jeremiah are also in the office with me. And so I'm trying to talk not too loud so that they're just listening and being like, what is he doing? <laughs> and yeah, I think it was just an amalgamation of just panic. So let's put up mine and go from there. Oh no. Okay, so the story starts with a student named Tessa who is needing to do a research paper for Mr. G's class and she needed primary sources. Yeah, and so she went to the library to get some help and the librarian who was there uh, showed her how to use the library databases and how to look up, um, oh no, I forgot everything, um, how to look up primary sources and how to look for helpful materials to help on her research paper. And she felt way more at ease having got the help from the librarian, from the librarian or library orientation. I kind of forgot to mention that earlier, but okay. And uh, 
yeah, she got the help she needed. She felt a lot better and more positive about the experience, and she was able to find all the sources that she needed. <laughs> so that was pretty bad. <laughs> you remembered Tessa? No. I remember Tessa. Yeah. I remember yeah. Tessa. Yeah. yeah, and then I didn't realize, you know, at the time that I could hear Juan or someone in the office's mouse clicking the entire time. I didn't think that headset would pick it up. So I, ap I apologize for that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't pay it. I didn't. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't it. it didn't I stand did. out to me. Oh, yeah. I could hear it clear as day. <laughs> Funny. Uh, so yeah, that it stayed together pretty well, I think. Yeah. Up until me. <laughs> no, no, I think we all, we all pretty much I think, got it. I think we all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I have a I have a I have a blast doing these. <laughs> yes, this is fun. Yeah, it's it, neat it, to it. see. But the the core message I think um, you know made it through all the way, yeah. all the way all of us. So that's good. Yeah, I think but that's really good. We have resources. We can help. We might not remember your name. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that one. It's like, oh, you helped me. Did I help you well? Did you like it? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, I don't know. Does anyone want to take the reins for the next one? Or maybe we can see if Jose would want to do it. But I don't know. I'd rather offer it to someone that's here. So it's uh, I'm, always, I'm always in favor of offering it to the person that's not here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, I well I'll, I'll, I'll support Jose on this next endeavor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. So that sounds good to me. <laughs> well, then, uh, with that... We'll leave I'll... it a surprise for all of our audience. They won't know who is in charge next time. <laughs> this will be, be our, our spooky surprise for him. Yes. Since well, we're still not sure if there really was a librarian in episode one or not either. Yeah. I think I think that we're gonna have some way of tying it all together. That librarian, with yes, the same librarian with the, the the what was it? Librarian's rock shirt and yeah. what was the cat, the cat? Was it a cat oh. scarf or a? Scarf no, it was just it was just, a, it was just it was just a, a it was just a cardigan. cardigan. I made it a scarf. Yeah, she made it into a scarf. That's, uh, like a into the scarf. The scarf. That's what it was. <laughs> and then they turned into a magic cat. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, I guess we'll call Pro Trust say about it and we'll run we'll run from there. And so with that, I guess this concludes this uh, episode of Call That Number, the telephone game. And then I wanna thank y'all for you know volunteering for this. Uh, I wanna thank the people watching this and I hope to well I guess I hope you watch I wanna say I hope you see you next time, but I'm not I can't see you, so uh, I hope you tune in next time. <laughs> Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks. Bye.